Hi beauties, just some general information on the Hyaluron pen as well as the filler. Um, due to the power of the Hyaluron pen, so I'm referring to this type of device, so it's got a PSI of 95, um, it's about 6.5 bar. So the viscosity of the serums that can penetrate easily and well through these pens need to be a low to medium viscosity. They also need to be a low to medium cohesivity. So viscosity meaning it needs to be more watery than very solid. Cohesivity means, um, the easiest way to explain it is it has to be able to migrate and move underneath the skin. It needs also to be a low pot or small particle size. The size of the hole in your ampule is minute. It's smaller than a needle and a cannula. So it needs to be very small to be able to penetrate through with using just this little bit of pressure, um, it needs to be able to push through the ampule and penetrate through the skin, which means that there has to be certain characteristics um, allocated to that of a hyaluron pen filler. With hyaluron pen, we are working intradermally. So we're working quite superficially. We're not, you're not able to fill hollow cheeks with volume with the hyaluron pen. We can't get to that depth with this device and this filler. Not it, It's not gonna work. So we can add um, pout, we can add plump, we can add volume, but all quite superficially. So um, the Hyaluron pen can benefit it a lot because a lot of superficial fine lines and wrinkles are just the, it's just on the surface. So it's very easy to rectify that. We can add volume to lips. I've, I love, I love, love, love the results that I get from the Hyaluron pen on lips. Uh, we can add a little bit of volume to chins. We can do to, to cheekbone areas, to frown lines, marinette lines, nasal lobial lines. There's a lot that we can do with the Hyaluron pen, but anything that requires a very deep penetration of filler, that is not what you're gonna be able to do with the Hyaluron pen. So hollow cheeks here, we can't add that amount of volume with the Hyaluron pen. If you're new to Hyaluron pen and you don't have a lot of experience, then I really do suggest that you stick to a low viscosity Hyaluron pen serum, a hyaluronic acid. If you're using a thicker viscosity, your chances of lumps and bumps are much bigger and uh, getting rid of them is a little bit tricky in the beginning. So I really do recommend that until your technique is perfected, until you have confidence, until you really understand the fillers, that you rather find a low to medium viscosity Hyaluron pen filler. And remember, that you cannot create projection like an injectable can. So don't try and um, get those results. You're going to be disappointed. It can create large amounts of plump and pout with the Hyaluron pen. And over time, that can create more projection, but it's not the same process as an injectable is. So be um, mindful of what you can achieve with this device and what it's meant to achieve. Uh, it's not meant to really replace injectables. It's for a different market, a market that doesn't like needles, doesn't like pain. Um, wants the person that they trust to do their beauty therapy treatments to also be able to give them plump and pouts. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, comment, share. I really do appreciate all feedback. Thank you.